Hello, footy fans. Welcome along to our weekly look at AFL with Mark Dragasevich, the man who said at the start of the year there is no way that the Gold Coast Suns would be making the eight. And I, I said there's a chance. Yeah, it's still just a slight chance. I, I must admit, I was very impressed with their performance on the weekend. I'll give you that. <laughs> He's very good, GA Junior, that's for sure. But it's all about this week. Friday Night Football has the Bombers, who once again find themselves... Uh, in the headlines for right and wrong reasons, up against Hawthorne. What a game this is. 1v2, 2v1. Interesting if uh, Essendon actually have a victory. Um, the Asada verdict comes down. They might lose points. I don't uh, think that's going to I'm not going to speculate about that. I but 30 years of happen. rivalry. This is going to be a great game. Uh, we get Mitchell back, Franklin. It's been a sellout for two weeks. Yep. Mitchell and Franklin come back. Who wins? Zahra Arcus first. And, oh, I'm going to go Essendon, actually. I'm on, I'm on them. They were terrible against GWS on the weekend, but I think GWS have a tendency to bring players yeah. or they, they much switch off switch off a little bit. It's almost like both teams were waiting for this game. Uh, yeah. Hawthorne just got over Bulldogs as well, so uh, let's go to the Bombers. OK, the Gold Coast knocked off Collingwood. Can they do the double in successive weeks? I can tell you what, every fan who was there last week watching that Collingwood game will back up for the Carlton game. Imagine knocking off Collingwood and Carlton in successive weeks. I think they can do it. Yeah, there are chances, obviously, but uh, it was really impressive to see over 20,000 there. Um, why wouldn't you go see a little maestro like that? That was an amazing performance. Um, no, I don't think they can do it. I'm going to go with the Blues. They had a great win over uh, North Melbourne. Yeah, they held uh, North Melbourne to a one-point win after leading by 30-odd at one stage there, but they are certainly back on track, the Blues. Melbourne take on North Melbourne. Even North Melbourne can't be beaten by the Ds. Collingwood should be too strong for GWS. Now, Geelong take on St Kilda on Saturday mm. night at Simmons Stadium under lights. We're getting used to these night games in Geelong. Yeah, and they'll be breathing fire. Um, another lead, mm. let's slip. We saw Chris Scott's react reaction to that. Uh, the Saints were very competitive, and actually, what was Nicky Dell doing? Yeah, I don't Just know what's going on. poking his hand in there. I think he's played long enough to know that's always a 50 every day of the week. Yeah. Uh, Geelong will win that one. OK, Fremantle should be too strong for Adelaide, who are buoyed by that win on the weekend, though. Uh, come from behind to beat the Cats. A lot of belief shows what they can do when they actually put their mind to it. Port and Brisbane? Uh, Port Adelaide for me. Bulldogs West Coast? Uh, definitely West Coast. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to change. You're going to change? I'm going to change. You're going to change mid-tip and go for the Bulldogs? I am going to go for the Bulldogs. I was actually really happy with their performance okay, last week. OK, and then Rich will take on Sydney on Sunday at the SCG. This is me versus you, yes. isn't it? And uh, I'm going to stick with my alliance of the Tigers. They're contested footy, but that Sydney midfield is something you to be a hold. no idea what you're talking about. Uh, let's take a look at his tips for this weekend. Remembering he didn't tip Gold Coast last week. Not <laughs> tipping him again this week either on Friday night. Essendon, Hawthorne, I tend to agree. Essendon over the Hawks. Carlton, North Melbourne, Collingwood on Saturday. Geelong and Fremantle, no surprises there. But on Sunday, tipping Port and the Bulldogs in that upset. And for some strange reason, he thinks that Richmond can knock off Sydney at the SCG. But you and I and everybody else knows that's not going to happen. <laughs> we'll see you next week for round 19 of the AFL. It's all thanks to Cenobet.com. Go to the website for the best odds on AFL round 18.